Hi, my name is Aditya. I'm from Mitrice. Now I want to show you about the tricky for import directional drilling in, in Minscape. So the first time I want to uh, show you about the format that we usually use in uh, ASCII data file for import drill hole. This is the common format. See that the first row, we have a uh, drill hole. The second one is uh, easting, northing, elevation, and the last one is uh, total depth. For inclined drill hole, we need to add two more columns for declination and azimuth. But if we have a declination or we have a, a directional drilling, uh, we need to modify the format the survey. So I want to show you about the format for directional uh, drill. See that uh, this is the, the format for, for survey data the ASCII file for uh, directional drilling. So the first row, we need to input the the, the, the drill hole name for and easting, northing, elevation, and the ID. So the first row, it's mean that for color, but the second row, third row, and for the continue row, it's for uh, don't hold data set. So it's different with the first row, right? So the second row say that we need to uh, prepare the whole name. This is the, the same whole name and then the best step, dip or declination and the azimuth. So we can continue uh, the same uh, format for uh, uh, another hole or until uh, the drill hole finish, right? So I want to show you about uh, the example for this format. So if you see this picture, we have a directional drill hole. We have a different uh, declination in one drill hole. So it's mean a directional drill hole, right? So see that we need to prepare the the data set to import the directional drill hole. This is for example. See that my hole name is uh, AD1, and the easting. This is just for example. Five thousand northing five thousand. The elevation of color is a hundred, and the format ident identifier is uh, AD. But uh, you can change whatever for the the ID format, right? So I just the example for for AD. For the first row, it means that the color, so it's still in here, right? This is the easting, northing, elevation, and the format identifier. But the second row, it means that the down hole data set. Right, so we need to spare it uh, based on the declination. Right, see that the first step that we drill for uh, 20 meters with the vertical. Right, so there is no declination in here. This is the vertical, so we need to import like uh, AD1, the same whole name, and the best step for 20, the declination for zero. Why zero? Because my reference is a vertical. So if my reference is a vertical, then the vertical is zero. But but if your reference is a horizontal, then you must input the 90 in here, right? So we can choose the declination reference in in the import from, right? So. This is the declination and the, the last one for azimuth. But for this case, uh, this example, I just input the uh, azimuth for the same uh, the same value, right? 90 degree. It means that for easting. But you can you can change the 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 azimuth with uh, with your your data set. But for this case, I just input the azimuth for 90 degree. So, we can continue the, the third row 
the same uh, whole name, but we have a different depth because it's 40. 40 means that 20 plus 20. But if you see that we have a declination, see that the declination, it's the reference of declination is the the, the, the vertical, so it means that 10 degree from vertical, not from horizontal, right? So the declination is uh, 10 degree, so I input the 10 degree in here, and the azimuth is same. So the last row, we need to input the best depth for the total depth, yeah, 60, it means that 20 plus 20 and 20, and then the declination is uh, 20 degree, and the azimuth is same, 90 degree. Right, I think it's clear, and I want to show you how to import in in a mainscape, right? So we can import the drill hole with the with the menu drill hole import and import drill hole, and you can choose the survey data set that you already uh, prepare with the format directional drill hole, and the important thing is that you need to change the, the format survey in the control, right? So I want to show you this, the, the, the directional drilling uh, format for, for the survey. Format ID, it means that the ID that we use for the color. So it means that 1 and 5, if we back in uh, the Excel, that this is the ID format, right? This is the ID format. So the column is one, two, three, four, and five, right? So I just input the start one and the token is uh, five. For whole name, it's clear, one and one. And the format identifier, we need to Im input the the ID of, of the color format, right? In my case, in this example, we use the AD, right? If we back in the Excel, we use the AD. But the user can can choose for the ID, right? So the easting norting elevation, I think it's clear. And for the don't hold data, uh, we need to input the best depth. See if I back in the Excel, this is the the best step and this is the deep declination and azimuth so it's uh, two three and four right two declination for three and the azimuth for uh, column four see that we have a declination reference in here so the user can choose wherever for vertical or horizontal but in this case I use the vertical Right. So if you already done with this form, you can click OK, and I want to show you the the result for import uh, directional drilling. So I have a, a the horizontal the the vertical drilling and the directional uh, drilling. So I want to check. See that uh, we have a directional drilling for some hole. Yeah, we have a difference tip or declination in here. Okay, if you have a uh, some question with this uh, demo, you can contact us. Right, thank you so much.